Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here once again in Helm's Deep. We have completed three out of the four epic battles. We have one more to do. But before we get into that, we have obviously a few things to do. First up, we have the anniversary uh, celebration has arrived quest, which we get every so often. And this actually brings me down to the point of the XP. I said we probably have enough bonus XP. Uh, and we do to get to level 100. It's pretty much a majority of it, like... If we made a tiny bit more XP in the last one, like we didn't fail one of those, uh, one of those two uh, side quests, we probably would have enough just from the VIP bonus XP to level up. But with this, we should get a little bit of an increase, 71k, and now we are only 70,000 XP from the leveling up. It's quite nice. So other than that, we have our hobby gift of the day and of the week. So let's have a look at what we're going to get there. A massive pile of silver scraps and a tome of defense, which is pretty much useless, and we're going to get rid of it. Um, on that point, I did repair my stuff. Um, I was clever and did that, and we'll also remind ourselves to sell that uh, massive pile of silver scraps as well for the two gold, because that'll be pretty nice, and that sword we can probably get rid of soon as well. Um, other than that, um, not really much to go on, except the Hornberg is here. It is, from what I have learnt, from completely unrelated searching, um, I think it was just on the Lotro Reddit, uh, or subreddit, uh, I was searching through some stuff about epic battles, and, um, or I led on to that, and from what I understand, um, the Hornberg is the, the fastest, or the quickest, rather, of the four in the Helm's Deep thing. I'm not sure about in the Battle of Gondor levels, but from what I understand, this should be the fastest. That could be completely wrong. That could have been changed. Um, I'm not too sure. Just anecdotal stuff, I guess, from what I've read. Um, so I guess we'll see. Maybe, maybe it's going to be quick. Maybe it won't be. Maybe we'll have a little bit of time to get that XP up to, like, maybe around here and then next episode level up. Um, but either way... Nothing else for us to do. Let's lead on to this epic battle and uh, get on to here. This will be our final one that we kind of go back to normal, uh, normalcy. Uh, and yeah, I wonder why it is the, maybe the quickest one. Is it either we fail super quickly or we've done four epic battles and we've kind of dwindled down defenses a little bit. Oh, offensives, kind of. I guess we'll find out. We're going to go into here um, and hopefully we're not going to mess up this time and hopefully... Um, yeah, we don't fail any of our side objectives. If there are any, we'll be able to see from this lovely little plug-in down here. So, let us get started. Right, we are up here. Um, looks like we are going to have three quests and three things. We're 50% straight away, as it tends to be the way. So here we find ourselves standing at the threshold of destruction. Yeah, I'm not sure how fast the quickest, quote-unquote, um epic battle is because the other ones have ranged from like 20 I think it's like 25 to 40 minutes something along those lines um, so this one could be less than that or could be around 20 minutes 25 still the enemy is massing and preparing his assault ready your defenses um, do we have anything up on the side it's gonna take a while for them to get up for a moment so we've got some barricades we have uh, some ballista which is nice I wonder if we can use that to our advantage straight away. We can probably just fire into the general masses and uh, do that. So let's see how this uh, reacts down here. Is it just going to kill a random assortment of enemies or is it not going to give us anything? I mean, these are guys. I can see these guys are moving. So uh, you might have to like aim down quite a significant bit. But uh, really the hope is they don't go up these stairs. We've got three sets of soldiers and a commander over here which is probably a sub quest over here because it looks like yeah that makes sense to me because they've got those little medals we don't actually know what they're going to be um oh we actually gonna get two quests so a random one is repair the corp uh either bringing down the siege ladders or repair the portcullis um so i assume repairing the portcullis is going to be over here the ladders, I'm not sure what that would be. Maybe just knock the ladders over, that makes sense to me. And then the second one over here is either protecting the gatehouse, winches in the windows, or the final blockade. So we've got a choice of two for the first one, three for the second. We're going to get killed by that. I think it might be actually worth then looking into this ballista again and maybe aiming significantly further down. Uh, because, 
yeah, that makes uh, somewhat sense to me, if we can do so. I'm just going to sort of try that before I aim or anything, because like, there's some enemies down here I should probably actually start doing that, but if maybe we can start, like, get them on the approach at least, that'll be nice. But I can't see where this is firing to. Just quite yet. So I'm going to do one more, and then we need to run back down, I think. And we'll use that during the next wave, um, if, if required. Jumping into battle, looking pretty cool doing so, hopefully. Either that or looking a bit stupid. One of the two. And looks like we're just going to generally have the same sort of situation happening again. We're going to go for the sappers mainly because uh, they knock stuff down. They're frustrating. And berserkers and commanders are also going to be a priority. Archers and regular warriors aren't so much because, um, well, they don't actually... Whilst they cause issues, they don't break much. Like, sappers destroy the stuff. Commanders and berserkers do a lot of damage, relatively. And uh, warriors and archers generally seem to go down quite quickly. So just keep an eye out for sappers, because I don't want anything... If, we can, I'm, if I can, I want to try and get platinum here, just to kind of make up... Um, for last time. I'm not sure how... If it's a quick one, it might not be an easy one. I'm not sure how, how it would translate, so... We might have a real difficult time here, but I'm hoping not. It would be nice if... It would be nice to get Platinum. I was surprised we even got Silver last time, if I'm honest, with how it went. Um, so, yeah. It was mainly due to the getting that gold on the final one, I think. If we had actually done the spider one properly, I think we could have possibly gotten gold. Um, if we'd done that, because I think we... Unless it's based on time, we could have got platinum there. But that's all said and done. Like, there's no real point in worrying about it too much at the moment. We should, for the moment, just worry about the current battle we're in, which seems to be going quite well. It's, um... I think similar to the Deeping Comb, there's kind of a choke point here where, like, not many, t not too many enemies can come up and we've got quite a lot of uh, soldiers here, so they can kind of dispatch them relatively quick. And uh, we only really have to focus on the ones that they don't have priority on, which is sappers and berserkers and stuff, um, and commanders. I think sappers are the ones that get through quicker because they don't do damage, they don't obtain aggro, it seems. They go straight for what they need to go for, um, which is the banners. So the soldiers don't really notice, when, especially when they're in battle, because... Oh, looks like we have our thing. Depa defend laborers as they repair the crank. Okay, over here. Um, and do not allow the gate mechanisms to be destroyed. Are they going to be over in this direction? That is us dying. Up by the ballista, it seems. I, I didn't realize... I don't understand sometimes why they have that. It seems a little bit weird to, that they have that. So I need to get rid of these orc berserkers. Defend laborers as a repair and crank the thing. Yeah. I wonder if can we do anything to help out? Like we don't have much focus. Can I repair? And I want to know what direction they're coming from. Are they coming from behind or are they coming from this direction? With the way they're looking, it looks to possibly be behind. Or, oh, oh, sorry, ahead. Um, but I'm worried it will be behind. Right, they seem to all be repaired. Oh, no, they're coming this way. Okay, that's fine. I expected just some, like, ladders or something, but seems not. So we should probably, yeah, take care of the Berserkers and just sort of tank that. Even though it's really not our our class description. It's, it's not tanking. So, Cranking? What, what's, what's the better thing to do here? Crank or... Repair? Oh, it looks like cranking is probably the best. We can only do it, like... Somewhat. Like, occasionally. Um, it looks, unfortunately, like 25% of the mechanisms are damaged, though, so I don't think we can get a platinum on this thing. Um, which is why we should actually, I think, change our ideas to go to sappers, for the reason I was actually talking about earlier, about the sappers, which is basically, it seems that, um, with sappers, obviously they don't attack, so they don't get aggroed, um, and it just kind of causes issues. And we should probably crank, similar to the, um, I think it's the Deeping Comb, uh, was the one that had the rocks where we could help out. I think that's the 
good thing. So I think we should stay here. We could probably even set up a trap. And I'm going to go for the sapper. Because the rest are going to battle and we can focus on you as well because you are trapped. And we don't want you taking out the warriors. Or the workers, rather. few sappers. Not too good. I think this is also where an AoE could maybe come in to, to help, obviously, because then we could be attacking everybody at each area. So we could kind of be in the middle of both of them. Um, so yeah, it looks like 50% of the mechanism has been damaged, unfortunately. Um, I think the first 25% was whilst we weren't there. So this should be the last crank for them relatively soon. And... Hopefully, I don't know if there's a second part to it. It doesn't seem like there is. The there we are. are so, what did we get there? We got bronze. I don't know why it would be so low unless it was the, like, 50% is really that bad that it went to that. Again, as I said, it might, it might just be a case of it being a quick one, but, like, the requirements are so much higher. Maybe it's, like, a kind of a case of, like, you should be used to this by now. Um, you should kind of understand what you're doing better, um, be able to prioritize. Obviously, it's not going to expect to get Platinum the very first time. I don't think they're that insane to think that, but like we've had a banner burn and it's seen, I don't know how much it's put us back, but you can probably, you might be able to see a bit better how far that's maybe pushed us back on the scores. Even the first quest is still saying it's um, random. It has not updated. That is very, very weird. I would have thought it would... Well, it makes sense that it would have updated, but apparently not. So it's this banner that got burnt. Which I think makes sense because I was over there. Um, a lot further away. So that kind of makes sense to me. I also have not been looking at this thing at all. I mean, I've been referencing it, but I've not been looking at the kind of like... Um, obviously, there's only two waves. We, we talked about that earlier. But this wave ends in two minutes. Um, so... After that, well, it's not going to say when the next quest starts just yet, but then we just have to mainly focus on the other side quest and the second wave. And during that, we should probably also worry about the ladders, the grappling hooks, if we can. I actually want to check. I'm just going to bring it up here. I'm not going to. I'm just having a look. Um, yeah, there was probably. I think there's promotion points you can push into. Let's do this while battling. But I think there's promotion points yet into Disable. So I don't know why we haven't done that yet, but I think it would be a good idea to do so. So that's going to give us some extra stuff into Dismantling. That should hopefully help us there. And we can always respec if we need to with that sort of thing. If it, um, if I've just made a <laughs> catastrophic error then in my judgment. But I'm hoping now if we click on these, it should take just a tiny bit less time. Maybe it hasn't shown properly. Is that... Or is that a wrong thing? Did I just put it into the wrong... Ah, see, yeah. 142 there. Work units per second where it used to be 100. And I assume... Okay, that looks just maybe be a different subset of things. Um, that That's disable. Why would this be... Disarm. Is there a disarm? Let's have a look. There we are. It's down here. Okay, disarm contribution is a lot further down. Okay. So, plus 75% of rank 5. And this obviously does 105% uh, disable slash dismantle at uh, rank 5. So, that's going to be really, really good. But plus 75% for disarming. Uh, or, is it disarming? Yeah, this is disarm because it counts as an enemy device. Which is interesting. Um... But these now should take, yeah, 4.9 seconds. So they're going to be a little bit quicker, which is going to be a nice little uh, cherry on top of just, you know, the the break we're going to have. We're going to be able to do more during that time. We can just go down here. Grappling hooks are a bit more of a pain still because we've got to wait forever. Um, like going down to there, we need 13 more ranks in, other, in order to get down to there. So we need 25 and we've got 12 at the moment. And in terms of promotion points, that takes me, uh, uh, takes a little bit longer doing so. 
So this one ends soon, so this is probably like the last set of enemies coming up. And then we are probably going to get to kill count 400, possibly. That might be it, because it looks like, from what I understand, the kill count follows everybody, not just, at least in the glittering caves, it seemed to, uh, to, yeah, up, well, it just seems to have not updated for a while, but it seems to follow everybody. Looks like we have a kind of in the middle of round two, or wave two. So I guess it's, that's kind of our... Like, red, red, uh, amber, green situation where, like, you know, green, done, amber is waiting, or yellow is waiting, in this case, and red is, like, don't do, failed, or, or don't need to do, um, I think it shows red when there's not a third wave, no, it doesn't, actually, it shows red when you fail, grey when it doesn't exist, uh, <laughs> as we learned from last time with the, the red. We also have, yeah, some traps. I guess we can place those down. I don't particularly have any use for them. But I guess bear trap, maybe, put down. Don't know how much damage that'll do, or if it'll do similar to our trap that we have, like hold them in place, or just it does damage. Not sure. These guys don't really stay long enough, uh, alive long enough to actually really pay much attention. But we've got apparently a three minute window on there. But I'm thinking, I feel like this, uh, this isn't updating in real time, more properly, really, because we saw that massive jump in kill count from like, what is it, 396 to like 447? Something like that. Just waiting for this round to end. Maybe it is 500 kills, but we probably got there by now. Oh wait, oh, or are we now in the next... Are we in wave two? Is there no reprieve in the middle sort of thing? Is that why it's uh, such a quicker thing, possibly? Aragorn's voice calls out there, Think thinning, we will soon have a break, make best of it. Ah, so, okay. Oh, red means done, I guess, then, not fail, because we definitely didn't fail. The first wave, and we definitely didn't finish the this first quest. I just think this is acting up a little bit, if I'm honest. I am going to uh, destroy these ladders, because um, these guys should be able to hold their own for at least a little bit. They did it during the uh, quest that we had. So. And then we have to look out in one and a half minutes, roughly, for the next quest, because um, that's when it comes, and in about nine minutes, this thing will finish. Um, I think it finishes from last time we saw, like, the waves stop for, like, a minute or two, depending on how good you do, maybe. Um, but it seems that, like, it, as it says, the time is not exactly accurate, or the information isn't accurate. There's, like, a discrepancy of about a few minutes, which I'm fine with, because I'll make this... I think that will make this. I don't know how long it took us to get into this, including intro, like, how much time... But if it's like five minutes, this has only been running for like 15 or something like that. Um, so yeah, that would, I think, probably is making this, if this time down here is correct, it probably is going to be the, uh, the, the shortest uh, epic battle, which is kind of nice. And I then can't wait for a little bit of a change of pace because we've been doing a lot of these recently and it'll be nice to get back into just some regular old questing and uh, a lot more traveling. We haven't done much traveling because we've been stuck in Helm's Deep for the pro uh, like the majority of the time recently. So you know, it's 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 yeah. It'll be nice to get out, <laughs> see the wildlife, not have uh, hordes of orcs attacking me constantly. I'm fine with them attacking me, just not that many. <laughs> a little bit too much for my, uh, for me to be happy about it. I will slightly miss Epic Battles though, because there is a lot of, like, interesting, um, like, dynamics to it. Like, you've got the, you've got the construction, you've got, like, the, 
kind of micromanaging, I guess, kind of, of, of you've got Engine It, Officer, and Vanguard. Vanguard is really just, like, kill streaks, from what I understand, which is, I guess, something I could maybe toy with at some point. Um, and then you've got Officer, which is basically the Commanders, and then you've got Engineer, which I think is the most, um, like, the most useful, it, from what I can see. Um, obviously, I think I looked once before for, um, there was a guide on, on retaking Pelagla, and they swapped, obviously, their trees down here, and, you know, they started off with, you know, uh, Officer, I think, and then they went into Engineer afterwards. Right, so we got our second quest now. So is this down to the lower gatehouse? I allow the engineers to fortify the wall. Not probably down here. Yeah, okay. So we need to get this battering ram destroyed. But I probably need to focus on these guys. Again, I think this is a case where AoE would be a very um, advantageous skill set. Like a champion, for example, would be able to, you know, Sort of stand in the middle of here because this has no real collision and just sort of kill everybody that was just there. Um, yeah, you guys take care of that. The, the morale on this thing is an interesting thing. Like, the way it's set up is interesting. Like, the max... It's staying at max at all times, but the max is going down with the damage we're doing. I don't know why it's doing that or, like, why it's a thing. It just seems a weird way of, like, going about it. You can see kind of what's happening here. I guess it's maybe so they can't repair it from their point of view. But the battering arm has now been destroyed. 30% damage to the door. One engineer was defeated, so we're not going to gain platinum on that. But at least, you know, bronze is going to be always good. We've got bronze moving into silver, which is always nice. And then, you know, we're going to get plus five promotion points. Or not, pro plus five points to the thing for, um, for having, um, it be our first time doing us. So, oh, that is, uh, that is a little bit not fun. That, oh, damn it. Wasn't my intention to die there. I just wanted to, um, sort of show what I was sort of going uh, at, which was the, um, the clipping. or well, not the clipping, but the lack of terrain at some point. Right, let's get back to this one properly. I'm thinking about coming through this with a champion just to test the plants. Like, I've done epic battles with champions, but I feel like, yeah, it would definitely be a better way of doing it. So it's good that we, I think, prioritize the battering ram first because um, this guy probably really needs help healing. How do I heal you? Can I put down this and just... I'm going to put a campfire down because you're not going to be in battle and then hope. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was showing that and I just thought it was... Um, a bit, ugh. And I didn't, like, there's a lot of times where I feel like there's just kill walls and it's a little, little bit frustrating with how it's, like, kind of set up. It would be nice to be able to go up to, like, here even and then just sort of have a look over. But that probably, this would kind of ruin the illusion of how they've set this up. Because obviously, you know, there's, they're not actually all physical models rendered, rendered over there. Though, at least we've got silver. Looks like we're doing... Oh, we can actually do a little bit of work as well. It seems. We can just repair it, it seems. I need to zoom in super far. I'm going to do it in first person, pretty much, just because... Um, there's not really... Oh, it looks like we actually can't do anything, really, with that. But it's just... The door clipping is a little camera doesn't like it very much you can see so zooming in even first person might actually you know I, I joked about it a second ago but I actually think oh no two of them have died now I can't even like heal them it's annoying I don't like it this is very different from what we've ever done normally with this like even with the one we did earlier what was it called um, fortifying the portcullis or something like that. Um, or protect the portcullis. Whatever it was called. At least with that, like... Do you come under... You don't even come under them. Yeah, at least with that I could, like, Monster, heal resolved. them. I think. I think I could heal them. Normally you can heal. It just... It's weird to me. 
sounds yeah i think it would be nice slightly if, if epic battles actually did get a bit more of an update or a seeing back to i know brie obviously got a little bit of a look back to and they seem to be doing retouching up a few old things but i think epic battles might be an interesting uh thing to redo well not redo but like touch up a little bit like i wouldn't even necessarily say there needs to be a kill wall just stop me going there I'm not going to get really angry if there's just a wall that you won't let me go through, but if there's a kill wall, I'm going to get a little bit more annoyed. Can you tell I'm a little salty about dying? Twice, I think, <laughs> during this. And also where it puts me. It puts me all the way up there. It's really confusing. Right. We are really close to this being done. Two more. It probably would be quicker, obviously, if we had four, because I think it's probably going up in twos now, because we've only got two of them. So it would only need, what, six increments if it was four of them, compared to 12 with only two. Um, and we, for the majority of the time, actually only had three. But hopefully... How did more damage get onto the door? I guess they were just attacking it. I thought I saw the uh, door, like, getting hit. All right, there we are. Let's go back up here then. There we are. And back to the battle! Hopefully nobody's died. We've had all four banners burned. I think it was only four. Nope, there's one up there and another up there. So four of six have been burned, which is a little bit annoying because you can see how we're still like pretty much at nothing. See, I think the requirements are a lot higher on this, even if it is a quicker battle. Because what? This ends apparently soon. I'm sure it's been probably around 10 minutes. I don't know. How did our thing go though? Um, we've had some stuff transferred. That'd be nice. But we're not going to get any rewards because it's not how it's going to work for this because uh, we set it up to transfer forward. But very, very soon we should start seeing the finale of this. And then we're going to get a bunch of XP at the end. How much are we from at leveling up? 420k, let's say. Round it up. Um, we're going to get like, what is it? Like 100 and something K from this. So that puts us up about down to 320. Let's say, let's say it puts us down. Let's say we get up at 120k. We're going to go down to 300k. Then we're going to complete the quest that this is a part of. And then there's probably a quest after that we complete. I think we also complete a deed with this. I think we should not today but definitely next episode i think we should be able to get to level 100 which is actually really cool and that should be the start of us kind of looking into better gear because um at least in terms of legendary items that is the maximum um level for legendary items so we can kind of get our we can get some level 100 third ages start looking around for good legacies not have to worry about upgrading um, and then we can start thinking about getting maybe a second age and then moving on to a uh, first age. Also, we've gone down even further. If we actually lose one more banner, I don't think we'll pass. <laughs> but just, to, just to put that one out there, because right now this has actually got nothing. Yeah, see, major merit loss is soldiers defeated. Moderate is commanders defeated and banners burned. Which is interesting that commanders actually matter less than soldiers. Yeah, see, we lost that other banner. That was why I was actually talking about it. I think we should still be able to get bronze. But yeah, I definitely think this one needs, uh, needs a bit more work from us. I think, again, it's another. It's a case of promotion points being needed, I think, really. Because then we can, you know, destroy ladders quicker, repair stuff quicker, um, heal people quicker, possibly, even. Like, right now, I can just destroy these a little bit faster. It's gone from, it's gone down two seconds, which doesn't seem like much, but it is actually quite a nice increase, and you know, little things here and there, but they, they matter. They should be done fairly soon, god damn.
Come on, guys. You can give up at one point. I don't know why that debris is still there. You guys have just been stood there for like the entire rest of the battle. You could either come help, or you can like at least clear up the rubble a little bit. That would be nice. Just do a little thing for me, please. Right, I am going to increase your damage because you guys seem to be a bit more spread out than the other two. I think then with the last, if nothing else majorly bad happens, which means no soldiers and no commanders die. Um, I think with the final update from 50 to 100%, it should probably move us up to... Um, yeah, it should probably move us up to bronze, at least. Uh, where did we get this? Did we, have we had that for a while? Very, very close to finishing, though. Um, I think that was from the last one. I don't feel like that's just it preemptively giving it to us. What, what was that? Did he, like, he got his helmet put on and then his helmet taken off. And then put back on again and then taken off as he died. I guess he just really liked equipping it and unequipping it, I guess. The only bad thing I can think about us getting to level 100, though, is currently we've got, um... Because we're boosted to level 100, um, our current marks that we're getting from this is 108%. From my testing with my main, who's 114 at the moment, I'm very, very, very close to getting 115. Um, just need to find some time to put into him. Um, I only get 1% mark ac uh, acquisition on this, so... It will be kind of a little bit of a waste of time, which just kind of sucks. Well, not a waste of time, but... Not as lucrative, um, mark-wise. There we are, 228,000 Gifts of Rohan. Um, we'll kill these guys. So, actually, a lot more than I thought it would be. And then we need 190k before we can uh, level up, which hopefully... Oh, we've got double XP, that'll be why. Um, but yeah, I, hopefully, if we complete the quest, it should bring up, um, hopefully 200k, and then we can level up to 100 today and have these to open. I won't open these. If we don't get to 100 today, I'm not going to open these till next episode when we do get 100 because these are not based on when you get them, from what I understand. They're based on when you open them. So we can hopefully use that to our advantage. So there we are. We um, didn't do amazing. We got bronze in the thing and we had our bronze upgraded into silver. 7 out of 10, uh, 20, 12 out of 20. Currently 4 out of 20 and... 6 out of 20, because we didn't do a great job and we've only got platinum like once. Actually, what have we got platinum in before? Platinum, we got glittering caves. Nope, that, that was the deeping comb. We got defilers in the water platinum. A pillage denied, we got bronze, or sorry, gold. And we haven't done these two yet. So, um, maybe that'll be one to go back to, because from what I understand, that was uh, quite a nice one. I had played through this before. Um, not before, but after. I got Searching the Debris. That was quite an interesting one. I can't remember what I got in it. And I think... Um... I also, yeah, I also got that one, which was interesting. I got the two that I didn't get in this one, on that one. So, um, I don't remember this one as much. I remember this one mainly, but it was um relatively interesting one. I didn't really know where I was going, so I got a little bit confused. Um, so, I think I probably only got, like, silver. But, um, what we need to do now is we need to go talk to Gleowine by the map table near the western wall and hopefully get some XP out of this. Uh, that would be nice. Um, hopefully enough to level up. If not... Uh, next episode shall be our day, um, and then we'll open those up then, because as I said, they, from what I understand, uh, from what I've tested before, they tend, or they seem to go with the when you open them, not when you obtain them, because I've, like, I've obtained them when I was, like, you know, uh, level 110, and then I leveled up afterwards to, after doing another epic battle, to 111, and then all, like, of them were 111, so, hopefully, hopefully that's the case, so, Let's go. Interacting with the leaning banner near Glearwine will allow time to pass. Actions will resume during the dawning of the day. Pick up the banner leaning against the western wall and time will pass. So we're going to go do that. Take our day to the day. And uh, finish up this quest. Because there's no more epic battles. So for now. Until these three. So we should hopefully be good on that front.
The fortress cannot stand. I will ride from this place and carve a path through the oars. Who will ride with me? Forth, Aerolingus! If this is to be my end, I welcome it with my sword in hand. Erkenbrand! Erkenbrand! And the White Rider! <laughs> victory! 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 Okay, and that is done. Glearwine is gone, but Thurkatel exactly takes the banner from you. And we got our nice little video there. That's the first time actually I've had it in this resolution, so it was a little bit more pixelated than normal, but... Um, yeah, I've never seen that one before, so that's quite interesting and quite funny, I think, um, to see. I don't... I thought it was just, like, taking six people against, like, the entirety of that, but we had Erkenbrand, obviously, and uh, Gandalf as well, which was quite nice. So, let's go talk to Thurkatel. Thurkatel. We're gonna get, actually, I forgot we get this, so we get a, um, the middle one tends to be the medium, light, yeah, light, medium, heavy. Uh, so... Agility and Vitality, massive increase there. Uh, we get a max morale increase, but not a massive amount, but including the Vitality increase, it's going to be nice because that's a 60 Vitality increase, which is like, I think it's 4 we get as a Hunter. So that's like, what did I say, 60. So that's 240 health on top of however much we're getting extra max morale. 77 Fate, that's a 30 Fate increase as well. That'll be quite nice. Uh, so we'll change that one off for our Bracelet of Conspiracy. And then... Uh, it's not massively, or actually, it's not better than our Master's, Master Engineer's Dexterous Bracelet. But, um, yeah, either way. Finish that up. Dawn oh, we are so, it, so close. Others. 21k. That's a little bit upsetting. <laughs> I'm a little bit sad about that. So next episode, we will be leveling up. We've got a few things here. Um, so we got a decompleted, which is the thing for the epic battle survivor of a long night. That all happened in one night, would you believe? So we got zeal, uh, survivor of a long night, 100 marks, uh, heritage rune, and summons to the final stand, which gives us that quest, um, which is fine. First time I've ever done that one, actually. Uh, title awarded as well. We got survivor of a long night. As I said, currently we are repping, what are we repping? Champion of Eriador still, and the bestowed is uh, we completed Survivor a long night. We got to do Slayer, qu uh, Slayer quests, and Explorer of the West Minute. So you can't really just do the all the deeds of this area without doing the um, epic quest, which is good because uh, we're eventually going to get here. Long time from now, but still, um, and we'll eventually have to do those, and we'll have already done it. So. We've got two things. We've got take to the Hornberg. Oh, did we have to? We've got to swap that out still. So we've got that one, and we've got this map. Do we want to try this map? I don't know where it's going to take us, but I guess we can always return to Helm's Deep. Let's try it. I was just looking for a quest to complete relatively easily, and then maybe we can just level up. <laughs> Be nice. Oh, he's all the way up here. That would have been quicker. Um... Are we in a... No, we're not in a session play either. So that's going to be into a session play. Oh, we get to be a White Hand Orc level 100. We're not going to do that for the moment. Maybe we'll do that, like, next time or in a few episodes' time. At least I know where it is. Um, I just want to get a quest done eventually that's going to get us to 100. So I think what we will do for the moment... Why are we... Are we in a session play? Are we in a... No, we're not. Um, or not such play. I thought we were in instance because it's not showing that quest. But maybe we'll do that at the beginning of next episode as a starter thing. Hopefully it will give us some XP. Um, as a, it's a quest, it should. That will hopefully then level us up. And then we can get the level 100 stuff from here. I think that sounds good. Yeah. That's also another quest which we need to do eventually. Yeah, there's a lot of things we need to do. But um, yeah, hopefully that shouldn't take too long. It looks like we're going to be a white hand. That will be you know, interesting. Um, probably just see them riding out, I think. Last stand of the rotary. Yeah, seems like it. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Took a little bit longer than I expected, about 40 minutes or so. Um, though I've been blabbering on and, and, and stuff, so <laughs> that's probably why. But nonetheless, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy. Next time, we shall open, or we should do that uh, session play, open these up after leveling up, and then we'll go over and talk to Aragorn and Theoden on the field across the gates, or outside the gates. And hopefully we should get some new gear coming out of this. Maybe we'll also get some tomes. Might be interesting. Hopefully one that we can use that isn't 
super out of our reach. And I also need to clean up my inventory a little bit from all these uh, Vanguard tokens. Also, um, next episode, that means our token of the Hornberg is going to be lost, which what a fitting place um, it would have been to lose it after completing the Hornberg, but so close after. Actually, let's take the Hornberg and we're losing it when we go for the token. Uh, yeah, let's take the Hornberg is when we lose the token of the Hornberg. And um, yeah, then I'm going to transfer it over to one of my other characters uh, because luckily we can still use it after that. It's quite nice in that regard. It's just bound to account, not character. So I can uh, I can send it over to a different character that needs it a bit more. Um, other than that, yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, as I said, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.